Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm just putting my rings on. Sorry. <laughs> hello. Welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's been forever, hasn't it, you guys? For Lychee Friday, ready for some fun, some January. We are beating the winter blues fun today. Hello, Susie. Welcome. Glad you can join us. So, you guys, celebration has begun. Oh my goodness, right? Hopefully, everybody, Teresa, hello, welcome. Hopefully, you all have a copy of this super cute little celebration brochure. If you do not, please send me a message. I'm happy to send this little mini celebration catalog out to you, as well as I already got my page flipped open, our new mini catalog, which I can show you guys what's inside now, too. So, like I said, hopefully you have copies of these. If you do not and you would like them, please let me know. I'm happy to send them to you. Hey, Barb, it's great to see you, too. So, yeah, we are going to be playing with some awesome, all right, I got too many things on the table already, too many things to tell you guys about. Uh, we are playing with an awesome set of products from the Celebration brochure. It is the Berry Blessings Bundle. So today we're going to be making two super cute projects with the Berry Blessings stamp set and the coordinating. I have to show you guys the designer series paper. Let me make sure I have it spread out here. This is, I think it's called Berry Delightful Designer Series Paper. So you can see lots of like, hey, Nikki, hello, welcome, welcome. Beautiful like berry imagery on the paper. And then um, <clears throat> just some kind of fun, bold patterns on the other side too that of course coordinate, if you guys can see that. I'll show it again when we flip the camera down because this is what we're gonna be playing with. The designer series paper and the Berry Blessing stamp set are what we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be make, making some super fun projects and I have other things to show you guys featuring this product also. So like I said, when I flip the camera down, it'll be a little bit easier and you guys will be able to see all that. But yeah, two projects with, that's our product of the week this week, the Berry Blessings bundle. So <laughs> yes, your favorite, Susie. I know, it's so cute. So I should tell you guys, that is free, you get the stamp set and a pack of designer series paper. It's free with a $100 order now through February 28th. And I'm like flipping through here. So I want to show you guys because I can show you the inside of the catalog now, right? So here, um, right here, it tells you in the little red medallion says free with a $100. Hello, Wanda. Good morning. Free with a $100 purchase. So you get, and you guys can see the designer series paper right there and then the stamp set too. The one thing to know, actually, let me show you guys those cute little projects there too. Sharon, hello and welcome. And the fun thing is this um, bundle that you get free with a $100 order coordinates with the, um, what is it called? <clears throat> Yeah, the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. So there's, there's another stamp set that kind of, it really um, is similar. It complements very nicely this um, Berry Blessing stamp set. And then the stamp set, Strawberry, Sweet Strawberry is the name of it because I actually used it on one of the cards we're gonna show in just a little bit. And then there's a Strawberry Punch too. You can just kind of see the little corner of that too. So awesome. And they're doing a really good job of that too where they're like making um, something in the celebration brochure that then coordinates with other products in the new January to June mini catalog. So very, uh, this is just fun, bright, delightful, summery, especially this time of year. We can all like close our eyes and like dream and imagine <laughs> summer again, right? Um, there was another thought I had. I Oh, I know. I think I want to make sure, because I don't think I said this yet, but celebration, this is different. If you guys don't know this, usually it's January, February, and March. It runs for three months. It's only two months now, which is great, because we're actually going to do it again. Hello, Rosemary. How are you? We're going to do celebration again in the summer, like in July and August. I'm pretty sure it is. But for right now, just know that you only have two months, January and February. Spend $50, pick a free celebration item, and then there are some some $100 items that you can get for, you know, free with a $100 order, but it's only two months. So January and February. Okay. So keep that in mind. It's not quite as long. Um, I think, you know, maybe it kind of lost its luster a little bit for three months. That's like a pretty long period of time. They were throwing in new items that were available and they're just not doing that. I don't believe. Um, it's just what's in here. So you got two months to, um, you know, spend what you can and then get your free stuff too. So, oh my gosh, it's going to be awesome though. Celebration is such 
a fun time of year, especially, right? We got the holidays, we've gotten through those, right? Gotten through, especially this year, maybe is a good way to put that. Usually it's like, you know, kind of all the fun and hubbub, which I know maybe not quite so much this year, but we're, we're past all that now. We can just kind of hang out and play and craft, right? For the long winter ahead. <laughs> I'm trying not to, there's quite a bit of snow outside though, so yeah. Uh, we finally got some snow around here in Michigan, but it's all cleared. Like the roads are all good. They're all like dry and, you know, easy to get through. And even my sidewalk, I have the most amazing neighbors. I have to tell you guys this. So I'm on like a corner <clears throat> lot. And so there's a ton of sidewalk to, um, you know, to uh, shovel. I was going to say plow, but that's not the right word. Um, so anyway, my neighbor over here next to me on this side just moved in this summer, fall. So he's awesome. He like comes out and shovels his, he's got a teeny tiny little sidewalk area and he just kept on going and going and going all the way to like the corner, which it's like, a. I mean, I don't have a huge house, but being on a corner lot, there's a lot to like take care of. And then my other neighbor back around the corner over here has a snowblower. So he went all the way down the front of the house too. So anyway, I was like, thank you guys. My neighbors are awesome. So I'm trying to be super appreciative. So maybe they'll do it again sometime too. So, and my kids are helpful also, but you know, so anyway, it's just nice to have nice neighbors, right? So, okay, let's see. Um, ooh, I wanna tell you guys about, so I am doing a designer series paper share. I put my first order in and I over ordered. So I've got, I think like five extra spots right now. The paper is ordered and it's on its way. So if you're interested, I'm gonna just show you. It's a little hard to tell, um, but so in our, the mini catalog, right? The January to June mini catalog, there are, how many packs of paper are you gonna get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so you're gonna get, hey, Anna. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, what did you say? I wanted to send more out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the story of our lives, right? Mine were super late going out this year too. So probably people are like still just getting them depending on where you are. But I think we all just do the best we can, right? So make them now and then they'll be ready to go for next year maybe, right? So, okay, so designer series paper share. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. So can you guys see, th this is like nine different packs of paper in the January to June mini catalog. And that's not all, because then we've got three more over here. We've got, um, this is some foil paper and then some acetate, a couple of different acetate papers. So I included those three and then all nine of those. You basically get a quarter of a pack of all of those papers. Plus I am throwing in the celebration. I couldn't do quite all of them just cause the numbers didn't work out, but you're gonna get a little sampler of the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper for free. The, what's next? Here it is, the Flower and Fields. This was the one that I showed you guys on our last Facebook Live. You get a little sampler, sampler of the Flower and Fields Designer Series paper. And then our product of the week, I'm throwing this one in too. You get a sampler of the Berry Delightful. It's called Designer Series paper. So those three celebration papers are free with your paper share, a little sampler of each of those. So you guys can get a little taste of everything. So basically a quarter of a pack of nine different packs of paper in the um, January to June mini catalog, and then three samplers of Celebration Designer Series paper, all for just $41. If you do need it shipped to you, it's an additional $8 priority mail shipping. Um, I have been emailing about it, but if you need me to send you the link, or honestly, if you just send me um, through PayPal, um, I, I, um, I'm trying to avoid the fees, you know, those silly fees, because I don't like to like upcharge you guys for PayPal fees. So if you send a payment to me via PayPal, just send it using that friends and family option. I think it kind of defaults to like goods and services and then they charge the fee. But if you send it as friends and family, um, then they don't take the fee out. And then that helps me because I'm not like upcharging at all on like the paper. So that helps me actually like cover the cost of buying the paper. So yeah, so I think, what do I have? Nikki's saying he wants, she wants to do the paper share. Awesome. Oh, okay, and Teresa, good, okay. Well, good, yeah, so I've got two people. So I've got three left for sure. And I can order, I kind of do them in groups of four. So when I get um, four more, so yeah, just order. As many people as wanna get the paper share, let me know and I will work the numbers out. And yes, Susie, I did get your message. You are signed up for the paper share. So as soon as it is in, I will let you know and you can come pick that up. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, I wanna show you guys real quick, cause I didn't, um, 
yeah, we haven't had a Facebook Live in a little while. And I think the mail was like so slow this year that I got um, quite a few Christmas cards kind of like, um, well, after the last Facebook Live that I did. So I'm like, okay, I wanna show you guys these cards. And just, I love to show them off. There were some beautiful works of art. Um, so I'm gonna just flip these up and let's, this one's from Jamie. I couldn't, I was trying to remember. So this is from Jamie Sanders. Isn't that beautiful with the, all the poinsettia um, products, which I, I'm pretty sure now I'm, you're gonna test my memory, um, but this bundle is still available. The stamp set and dies, the designer series paper, I think already sold out, but the red ribbon, that one's still available too. So if you if there was something you missed from the holiday, uh, August to December mini catalog, I'm trying to remember what we call that, you can still get a few things, but most, most everything's gone. So focus on the new mini catalog and celebration. Okay, so this one is from Nancy Krause. This is cute, huh? So, and, so it comes in the mail like this because it flattens out. And then, and I'm trying to remember what this is called, but if you guys can kind of see, so it's all, it's like super 3D. Isn't that so cute? So love that card from Miss Nancy. Thank you. And then this one is from Sandy White. And this is fun because she loves to um, use a card that she's seen like uh, at the stamp studio. So this was one that I actually did last year. And so she ordered all the products kind of um, throughout like last winter fall time so then she made this card so she's always kind of like working a little bit behind but I love um, I love that punch too and that plaid paper was beautiful so yes card from Miss Sandy so thank you Sandy and then Miss Teresa who is watching right now sent this super cute she loves to do like these long narrow cards so they're they're so I kind of know like when it comes I'm like ooh, a card from Miss Teresa and look at those cute bunnies isn't that so fun and let's see I don't think there's anything super personal but I love how she decorates the inside of it there too so hello Miss Dawn thank you for joining us and who do we have next ah from Stephanie Flapp this is a friend of mine another demonstrator who made that beautiful card isn't that gorgeous with that black glimmer paper too have not <clears throat> seen that used very much and then here is another one this was from Maria Warren thank you Miss Maria this is beautiful those bells and look at all like the shimmery goodness there. Sherilyn, aren't those cute? Yes, the buddies. Hi, Becky. Hello in uh, Kentucky. Thank you for sharing the video too. We'll be talking about that in just a sec. Um, let's see, next one is from Sandra, Miss Sandra Johnson. Look at all of, she does some beautiful work. Her cards always have so much detail on them. So I have to zoom in, like look, even like the mantle and the presents, like, oh my gosh, there's just so much work of art here definitely not anything that i normally do right so that's why it's super fun to show you guys um someone who is taking an awful lot of time to put all that detail into her cards and then miss vina she sent this beautiful card too so thank you miss vina i appreciate that one as well so i just had to share those cards with you guys because that made my day it's so fun you know to get handmade cards in the mail right we all love that don't we Okay, um, so let's see. I got lots of notes here and I'm talking super fast because I feel like I have so much I want to tell you guys about. But I think, okay, quick sip of water already. I am ready to, let's do our first drawing because I keep seeing Becky popping up there that she's shared the video. So let's remember, right? Yeah, they were all so cute, weren't they? Yeah, I thank you. Yeah, I loved every single one of them. Um, we are gonna do our drawing now for sharing the video or signing up for my email list. So this was the ribbon that I had announced, that embroidered ribbon that I just, I still absolutely love this. This one retired, so I'm kind of bummed because I loved this ribbon, but it's super versatile. It'll be great for like spring projects too, I think. So anyway, if you shared the last Facebook Live video uh, anytime between now and or whenever I did that video back in December, right? Um, and last night at about midnight, because that's when I <laughs> go through these things. Anyway, your name is in the drawing right here. Or if you're new to me and have not signed up for my email list, if you did that between the last video and Thursday last night, at midnight, your name is in here also. And I always include the link to sign up to my email list. So I'm always pointing like up above this Facebook Live video, there's a bunch of details. Sometimes you even have to click on that more button, but once you do that, one of the links is to sign up for my email list. And when you sign up for my email list, you get a free tutorial valued at $15 also. So anyway, lots of incentives. Okay, so we got lots of names in here. I gotta shake them around. Some of them get kind of bunched up. So I'm gonna give everybody a fair shake here. Okay, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of them. Sorry, I gotta separate them out. Shake them around some more. Okay, that's good. All right. 
so here we go. Our winner is, I've got one in my hand, and it goes to Miss Susan Pacheco. Congratulations, Susan. I will be sending this embroidered ribbon out to you. So thank you for sharing the video. All right, I'm gonna dump those out. So on our next Facebook Live, we will be giving away, these are the Meadow Moments embossing folders. So I'm gonna kind of try to zoom in because they're super cute. You get two, you guys can kind of see, right? So they fit in the new mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. That's why they made some of these mini ones also. So it's a package of two. So you get this one and this one. And again, they are called, because I can't remember this name, the Meadow Moments embossing folders. So share this Facebook Live video, sign up for my email list and your name will go in the drawing next Facebook Live to um, win the embossing folders, okay? All right, we're gonna scoot that out of the way. So I wanna show you guys also, so celebration has begun, right? So now's the time to talk about the awesome starter kit deal, right? If you basically love Stampin' Up! products, if you have either been online or flipped through our new mini catalog and you have this huge wish list, I'm telling you what, the thing to do is to get the Stampin' Up! starter kit. So here's the deal. It's always a great deal. During celebration, they throw in some extra awesome stuff. I'm going to show you that in just a sec. So this is the deal. Basically, you need to put a wish list together of $125 in product. You cannot go like a penny over. So get to as close to $125 as you can without going over. It's like the price is right or something. Um, so pick your, get your list, pick your product, get everything that you want, $125. You pay only $99 plus sales tax. That 10% shipping fee is waived also. So that's like automatically a $12.50 savings because normally you'd pay that 10% shipping. Plus, because it's celebration, you are gonna get, it's four packs of designer series paper. And I haven't even really looked at this, but okay. This is brand new designer series paper, the new patterns that are gonna be in our next annual catalog. So you get a full package of brights, and I'm gonna show you what all the patterns are. Brights, regals, subtles, neutrals, and the 2020, 2022, in colors so there's your magenta madness and your misty moonlight and the other colors are tucked inside there but let's take a look at the pattern so seriously it's 200 sheets of designer series paper that you get okay so these are the brights let me just show you because in the brights you get two of each okay so this is one pattern this is um mango no oh my gosh seriously um what's the hmm i can't think of it right now Okay, I'm gonna show you Mango Melody because Melon Mambo. I knew, I'm like, ems. okay. <laughs> crazy, 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 my brain is dead apparently. Okay, so there we go. There's one side. And, ooh, isn't that cool? They're almost like little crosses maybe, right? And then here is another side. Oh, these patterns are really cool. I have to look at them now. I wanna look at them. <laughs> I really didn't even look at them very much. I love that one too, the little like, the, it's almost like stripes with little dots in them. Yes, Melon Mambo. Melon Mambo? Melon Mambo, yeah. So here, here's kind of a fan out. And this is just one of the packs, right? So you get four packs of this paper all for free with your starter kit. So isn't that awesome? What a great, oh my gosh, you're gonna have so much fun with all that paper. And I had to order all of them just so I could see them and show you guys too, right? So great pack of paper for free with your starter kit in addition to $125 in product and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. So sales tax in Michigan is 6%. Everywhere is a little bit different, but basically you pay $104.94 in Michigan. You get $125 in product, those five packs of designer series paper or 200 sheets of designer series paper, and you don't pay any shipping on it either. Plus, it gets even better, ladies. So say your wish list is like way more than $125, no problem. You, as soon as you sign up and get the starter kit, you get your demonstrator ID and your password, and you can pop right back into the website, get everything set up, and put your first order in. And you get 20% off of everything in this catalog or the annual catalog or the clearance rack or whatever else you can find online that Stampin' Up! is selling. You get 20% off of everything that you order. So it's like seriously a no-brainer if you have this huge wish list, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know. Plus, 
you become an Inkspired Stamper, you become part of our awesome team, our awesome group. You get to hang out with us on a separate Facebook Live where we do team meetings. We have a whole separate Facebook group where we do sharing and challenges and lots of awesome stuff. So come hang out with us. It's a great, even if you're long distance too, because I do the meetings um, locally and we also run it on Facebook Live. So you can feel like you're a part of things, even if you're not right here near us in Michigan. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'd love to get you signed up with that starter kit and become an inspired stamper and a part of our team and our group okay love to be able to do that for you okay so I think we are ready yeah we are gonna do our next drawing so here's the deal this was uh, actually let me make sure yep I've got my names in here okay so we are going to give away the Barry blessings stamp set now this one was if you put at least a $30 order in between our last Facebook Live video and Wednesday at midnight, okay? Your name is in the drawing, right, to win the Berry Blessing stamp set. You are automatically going to receive, for sure, the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. Oops, you're gonna get both of these cards sent to you. Beautiful, gorgeous, with the new, uh, is it Flower and Field, I think, designer series paper. And then if you bumped your order up to $50, you also got to choose from and this is january so depending on when you put your order in you if you put your order in december you get to pick between the december demo design dream team pdf tutorial and the free embellishments or if you put it in in january you can pick from the january demo design dream team pdf tutorial or the brand new pastel pearls those are the embellishment that i'm giving away in january okay free with a 50 dollars order and i have to show you guys because i think this card is super cute this was my project that is in the demo design dream team pdf tutorial so you can kind of see it's another little i'm into the fun folds i can't make a regular card right now but it's using some more of that fun paper right there okay so Let's do our drawing now, right? But with that being said, every week I do a giveaway. You get the cards that I demonstrate, and if you have order up to $50 or more, you get to pick from either the tutorial or the free embellishment. It's every single week, ladies. Plus, it's celebration, so then you get celebration um, freebies also. Okay, so here we are drawing for the Berry Blessings stamp set. So thank you guys for your online orders too. I do truly appreciate every single order. Please know that. Okay, all right, we're tossing these names around, and we have one lucky winner is Miss Kay Jacoby. All right, congratulations, Miss Kay. You are the proud new owner of the Berry Blessing stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you, Kay. Congratulations. All right, scooting that out of the way. Okay, so, now, oh, I lost a bow on one of my cards. I'm like throwing stuff around too much. I see where it goes. I feel like the glue dot is gone. Okay, we'll have to fix that later. That's okay. There, let's do, oh there, because the glue dot's still on the bow. Okay, now we've got it. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, oh, Nikki's asking. So paper share is $41, and then it's an $8 shipping charge, because I sent it priority mail, just because I think that they do a good job of like taking really good care of it. So yeah, so it would be $49 altogether, Nikki, for the paper share if you want to send that through PayPal. Okay, and Patty, hello, welcome. So glad you can be here with us. Okay, so this next Facebook Live, we are going to be giving away with your $30, just a minimum $30 order, although basically you're going to want to bump it up to $50 right now to get your free celebration item and either that PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. But your name's also going to go in the drawing to win. This is the Heal Your Heart stamp set. And I'm going to have to flip this around so I can read the sentiments, but this is this is one of them that you can get for free with a $50 order during celebration. But don't order this right now. Put your order in, order something else because you might win this for free. Okay, so the first one says, we're in this together. And then we've got, I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. That's awesome. That's and it's teeny tiny print, but maybe that one goes maybe like on the inside of your card. Sorry for your loss. That's a great one. We can always unfortunately use those kind of sentiments, can't we? I don't know what I would do without you. That's that one right there. And then we've got wishing I could heal your heart, which is probably where the stamp set name came from, right? And then this one says thank you. So beautiful um, cursive writing. Oh, it's that whole someone actually wrote like that. Oh. Beautiful, huh? Okay, so gorgeous stamp set. 
you could win free with at least a $30 order. Make sure you use the new January host code that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and I will be sharing that with you in just a few moments too, okay? Um, let's see. I think, are we ready to flip the camera down? I feel like we might be. I gotta do, a, I, I have to just do a double check here and make sure, but I think we did everything. A lot of, lot of notes here, I got a lot of scribbles. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. I feel like all my kids are gonna be like laughing at me because I'm saying okay all the time, but they're not here, they're at school. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so seriously, here in, I don't know, it's not even in everywhere in Michigan, every, is it? I don't, I can't even keep up with this whole COVID, who's doing what and where and whatever. Anyway, what I do know is my kids, went back to school at the very, very end of August and they made it all the way until about mid-November and then COVID like reared its ugly head like crazy at the high school. Um, so they sent the high schoolers home. Basically, they've been doing virtual learning since mid-November. Um, right after Christmas, so this past Monday on January 4th, they went back to school on Monday for one day. We got snow Monday night into Tuesday. So they had a snow day on Tuesday, no school. Then the original plan was to have school on Monday and Tuesday, no school Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, I think to help the teachers, which thank God, I mean, poor teachers, like what a crazy nightmare of a situation they have had, right? But so they went to school Monday, they had a snow day Tuesday, they automatically had Wednesday off, so they actually did go back to school Thursday, and now they're at school today, Friday. So they've had three days of school, finally, <laughs> since like mid-November. And they did have online school, but they're basically, it's not the same. It's just not the same. So I'm really hopeful that they can get like some full four day weeks in regularly for the next while. <laughs> Cause they could use the education, I think. Uh, yeah, so anyway, all right, turn your heads away. I don't know why I got off on that tangent. I guess cause it's quiet and there's no one around here. Um, yeah, turn your heads away. We're gonna flip the camera down and we are gonna do some stamping. I actually have a couple more things to show you guys before. We do our stamping. So let's see, get that popped in there. Flip the camera down. Okay, all right, everything looks good there. I want to grab, what do I need? Too many things here, ladies. Let me show you guys the host code while I'm thinking about that. This is our host code for January, the SY2XVNMS. So make sure you use that whenever you order online through me and that helps you get all the freebies uh, through Facebook Live. <coughs> okay, and I tickle in my throat. I'm probably gonna have to be grabbing. Um, <gasps> Ooh, oh, I don't have my dimensionals. I just moved something and I realized, okay. I normally have them propped up against this one little spot and I realized, oh, I don't have those. So I'm not going to grab them now just in case there's something else I forgot and then I can try to grab both things at once. Um, but let's see, my notes tell me that I want to talk about my next class to go. Okay, so you guys, I'm like addicted to fun folds. So you might even kind of recognize because I've been doing a few of them lately. If you haven't seen the video yet about my latest class to go, it is featuring the Happy Thoughts stamp set great set of sentiments. I'm going to read them to you because I love. So we've got kind of the basics. I think they're like an inside outside kind of thing, meaning you could stamp happy birthday on the outside. And then on the inside, you could say today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are and the great things that you do. I think congratulations would work really well with that one too. Then we've got thank you. The little things you do so well and so often make a difference, they make a big difference to so many people. So right outside, inside, and then thinking of you, just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. So great kind of sentiment stamp set with the basics and then some other fun extra sentiments for the inside, or you could put them on the outside of your card too, okay? So great stamp set. We also used the new opal rounds. Can you see the little opal? Used to be obsessed with opals when I was like in high school. I remember loving opal, like the rings or something. And then we also used the Seaside Spray Metallic Ribbon. You'll see that on pretty, I think every single one of the cards, right? Okay, so, oh, and Designer Series Paper. This is super cute. 
um, what is this even called? Paper Blooms, the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. Isn't that beautiful? You get a quarter of a pack of this paper with um, your option number one and option number two. Okay, so there's one side with all the beautiful floral imagery, right? And then we're gonna flip this over and you can see here's the other side with the blues and greens and pinks, right? Okay, so let me tell you guys about the different options that are available. And if you have any questions, let me know because I'd love to get one of these kits sent out to you, right? Okay, actually, let me show you the cards first too. So we've got this card that opens up like this, right? There's that one. And then we've got, this one's kind of fun too. This is maybe the least fun fold, but it is still fun because you start with just one piece there and then you got that one right there, right? And then this one opens the opposite way. So we've got that little guy right there, right? And then one more, this is a fun little like kind of a Z fold, right? So you got just a little space to write your sentiment in there. You could put a piece of white paper over there, although there's still not that much room to write. So anyway, super cute cards, right? So each of the to-go kits, you get to make four cards cards and two of each of them. Philomena, hello. Hi, welcome. Glad you can be here with us. Okay, so option number one for the Happy Thoughts class to go gets you the Happy Thoughts stamp set, a quarter of a pack of this designer series paper, which is actually free in option number one. You get a full bolt of the Seaside Spray Metallic Ribbon and a full package of the Opal Rounds plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put all the cards together and all the parts and pieces, everything that you need to make these cards. Um, let's see, option number one is $52. Option number two is if you already have the Happy Thoughts stamp set, make sure you have the stamp set because you have to do your own stamping with your own ink. I cannot do that for you. Um, the to-go kits, right? So option number two does not include the stamp set, but you do get the opal rounds, you get the ribbon, and you get the quarter pack of designer series paper, plus all the parts and pieces. Everything's like cut and scored. Everything's ready to go, right? Um, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put your cards together two of each of the four cards, right? Option number two is $32. If you need the kit shipped to you, either option number one or option number two, it's priority mail shipping. It's an additional $8. Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial, the PDF tutorial is always $15, always available, and it's always free to anybody in my downline, any of our Inkspired stampers. Another great reason to get that starter kit, and I'm actually seeing Sharon right now saying she wants the PDF. So yes, Sharon, send me an email. That'll be my reminder um, to actually get that sent out to you. So free to anybody in my team, the PDF tutorial to make these cards. Then option number four is also for my downline, my Inkspired Stampers. If you want the make and takes, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, I send you everything that you need. You still have to do your own stamping with your own ink because you can't, I can't do that, right? Um, that option, option number four is $12 for the make and takes for anybody that's currently in my downline. Okay, so let's see. Oh, RSVPs are due two weeks from today on Friday, January 22nd, and the kits will ship out no later than Wednesday, February 3rd. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. These cards are just so cute, fun, beautiful. Love that paper, right? I have to show you guys that one more time. This is, just so you know too, this is a pack of paper that is free with a $50 order during celebration. So you can put your own order in and just get this full pack of paper, or if you wanna get the to-go kit, you get a quarter of a pack of this paper in your to-go kits, okay? All righty. Scooting that stuff out of the way. Oh, another thing, just to tell you too, the class to go kits. So every single month I design four cards like this. You make two of each of them. If you think, oh, you know, I, I want to be able to do this every single month. It's a great way to get some ideas, all these tutorials. You can even, you know, honestly, like this card, um, is this the one or is this the one? This is the one, right? So I actually, this one is basically this card right here that I made a couple of weeks ago on Facebook Live, right? But look at how different it is. You wouldn't even necessarily know that it's the same card, right? But my point is you can get these PDF tutorials with the class to go kits every single month, and then you can use them and adapt them to whatever other product you have on hand. The fun thing is if you decide you wanna get one of these kits every single month, you wanna join the club, the class to go club, because then you get these kits every single month. You can pick either option number one or option number two, whichever you prefer. Um, what else? Uh, oh, you get 
$30 in free host benefits, $30 in product, whatever you want, one month that you're the host of the class to go club. And then I always love to send cute little treats like club member treats as well too. So I'd love to get you signed up. You can start anytime. Um, but like I said, it's a 12 month uh, commitment. Basically, you're gonna get a cute, fun kit in the mail every single month for 12 months and awesome cards with tutorials that tell you how to do everything. So I'd love to get you signed up for one of the, the class to go club as well. Okay, all right, we got all of that. I think we are almost ready to do our stamping, but I just have to show you guys one more time. So the Berry Blessings stamp set. <laughs> Philomena, sign me up for another year. That's awesome. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. I'm glad. So yes, Philomena's been getting these class to go kits for the past year. So she's a perfect example of someone who is enjoying these kits. So thank you, Philomena. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you have been enjoying them and want to sign up again. Plus, actually, once you have been a club member, if you sign up again for another 12 months, you get a free stamp set valued up to $15 from me. So Philomena, let me know what you want as your, as your free stamp set for rejoining um, the class to go club all right <laughs> good i'm so glad you love them thank you i so appreciate that and i'm seeing susan just uh popped on here hello miss susan and she shared the video oops bring susan on nope i'm not going to do that i do want to try that someday but she probably would not be happy with me if i did that right now <laughs> i'm curious to know how that works so someday someone if you're on here you'll tell me hey you can pop me on the video because i, I want to see I'm really curious. I've not done it before. Okay. In the meantime, the Berry Blessing stamp set. This is our product of the week that we're going to be using to do our stamping. So we've got some fun imagery and I love, so it's kind of a watercolor look where you stamp the outline and then you add the inside, right? For that one, that one, all of them basically. And then some cute stamp or sentiments. Wishing you the very best, bountiful blessings. You always have a way of making my day. I love that one, right? So great stamp set. And then I know I showed you guys this, but I think you need to see it again because it's beautiful. Look at these. We might even have to, oh my gosh, let's just do three at a time because I want you guys to really see, okay? So look at all the beautiful berries. Doesn't it make you hungry too for some beautiful fruit? Okay, so there's one side. And I'm going to flip it over, and I love these patterns, too. These are a couple of my favorites. They look like picnics, right? Picnic basket, I don't know, picnic blanket, something or other, right? Okay, so that's that. And then here are another set of three, some more berries, right? The font is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it really is, Nikki. And let's see what else. Oh, <laughs> yes, Susan's got the bundle coming, and she got the coordinating strawberry bundle, too. Yes, Awesome. And you know what's fun? So this one, they kind of look like seeds on a strawberry. So I saw where they used the strawberry punch, which I'll show you that one right here, right? So they use this straw. Actually, it goes that way. You can kind of tell it's a strawberry more that way, right? Um, so you punch it out of this paper and it, and then actually I think they stamped it. So they stamped with their strawberry. I'm sorry, I'm getting like way off track here, but here's the sweet strawberry stamp set. So this is what Susan just mentioned that she ordered the sweet strawberry stamp set and then the punch that coordinate with this bundle from Celebration. Okay, so these are things you can order, the sweet strawberry stamp set and strawberry builder punch. Order those out of the mini catalog. And then if you order some more and get to $100, then you can get the paper, this paper and the Berry Blessing stamp set for free. Is so cute, isn't it, right? Okay, so what was my point? Oh, I know, I was trying to tell you guys, this is why I pulled this out. <laughs> squirrel, did I see a squirrel? My mind always sees squirrels. Okay, um, this is what I was talking about. We're gonna, if you stamp this image right here, this one right here, right? Stamp it in black right on here, and then it looks like um, little strawberry seeds, and then you can punch it out with your strawberry punch. So cute. I know I saw that idea. I think it's in one of the um, catalogs, so thought that was really cute too. Okay, so we are almost ready to do the stamping. The other thing, though, that I want to show you guys is, so I made, what did I make? Oh, these were swap cards. I'm going to be getting my swap cards back soon too. So I didn't have enough to make just with one pattern, so I did with both of these patterns. But again, you guys see the fun card, right? Flip this up like this, and, and the sentiment too. You always have a way of making my day, and then I used the berry. So I used this stamp right here, 
and then those and those are stamping on there with one of the little opal rounds too, had to do that. So yeah, so super cute, right? So again, featuring the Berry Blessing stamp set and the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper, right? And then it gets even better for scrapbook class. We made some fun scrapbook pages. I'll show you, we'll do one at a time. Again, featuring some of the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. And again, same kind of idea with the Berry Blessing stamps that again look like raspberries with some long leaves. You always have a way of making my day, right? So isn't that pretty? Fun, bright, beautiful. And then here is the second coordinating page. And this time we stamped the Bountiful Blessings with the other little berry imagery, right? And I love the blues too. Isn't that so pretty? The greens and blues. This is my color scheme right here, the greens and blues. So love, love, love everything about that suite, basically, of products. Okay, I think we are ready to do our stamping. I'm going to get things cleared out a little bit. Let's find, I need my grid paper. Let's see, let's get situated here, right? Am I in? That's in view, right? I think so. Okay, good. Mm. All right, too many things. I think I'm good. Yeah. Yep. All right, so more fun folds, ladies. I can't stop with the fun folds, right? Okay, so here's this card that I'm going to show you guys, again, featuring the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. Thank you, Mary. I'm glad you like those scrapbook pages. And just so you guys know, um, every single month I upload pictures of projects that we've made on our Facebook Lives, um, at Simple Beautiful Card Class, and at Scrapbook Class, and anything else that I've made. There are albums on our Facebook group. So the group that you're on right now, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, if you go, it's kind of up at the top. I always have to be kind of visual. But there's a, um, a tab at the top. I think it says Media now. They just changed what it says. But if you click on Media, and then you click on Photos, and then you click on albums and you'll see I have a bunch of albums in there. So I'm uploading, again, pictures of cards, of scrapbook pages, of anything that we've made, treats that I make, they're all in those different albums. So you can go back if you need like ideas, um, even like card layout ideas, I use those a ton. Scrapbook page layout ideas, I use those a ton also. So just made me think of that, Mary, when you mentioned the scrapbook pages. Okay. So here we go. Let's get get all my stamps and everything out here. I think I'm good. Okay. I feel like I don't have that much stuff. Like I'm worried I don't have everything, but I do. I you guys, I actually prepared these cards back on Monday. Like usually I'm doing them like Wednesday or Thursday. So this feels like like a million years ago that I prepped these cards. So <laughs> hopefully I can remember what I did. But okay, I think we can do this. Okay, so we're gonna start. Card base is Poppy Parade cardstock. Okay. And while I'm thinking of it, all of the um item names product like code numbers, dimensions, colors, everything that you need to know, know to recreate these cards will be uploaded on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So you can take notes now if there's something that you want to make or pop back later on this afternoon on my blog and all the details will be there, okay? So for example, I will tell you I use Poppy Parade card stock and the card base measures, this one's a little bit different, it's eight and three quarters by four and one quarter, and then we scored it at three and one quarter, okay? So that is, it is upside down. So actually it's gonna go like this, okay? So there's that piece right there. Then we have our designer series paper. This piece measures three inches by four inches, okay? And that's gonna go right on there. Then we have this piece of Whisper White cardstock that is gonna go right inside there like that. This one measures three and one quarter by four and a half. So that's gonna go there. Then we have another piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. This one measures three by eight and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter because that's gonna fold in half and lay right inside there, right? Then we have this piece of designer series paper that's gonna go on there. That measures two and three quarters by four gonna go that way and then on the inside of this piece we have another whisper white that goes right inside there 
and this one measures two and three quarters by four. Lastly, I have a little strip of Whisper White cardstock for our sentiment that is three quarters by three and a half. Okay? All right. I think we are good to go. Let's do our stamping and put our card together here. Okay, so, and then I've actually just got another scrap of, right, this is the one for that because this one went on the inside. Yep, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing that right. Hello, Miss Lori. Okay, so we're going to do our stamping of this on this little guy. I'm actually going to cut that first. So let's do that with our stitched shape dies and our die cutting and embossing machine. This would be something you could get in the starter kit. You could get this in like a pack of dimensionals in the starter kit, and then you've saved like a bunch of money already um, by getting the starter kit. Okay, so stitch shape dies, the circle, this is the second largest circle in those. Okay, we are cranking this handle. Sorry, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One more crank, I got us through. Okay, let's get that back out of the way. All right, and I want my little scrap paper because I know I'm gonna go off the edge on my stamping here. Okay, so we've got this little baby. We've got our ink. I feel like I need my glasses. Where are those? Oh, I think it's that here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tired old lady eyes at this point need, okay, I know why, because I'm using some ink pad colors on the other card too. That's why I kept thinking, I don't have everything I need, but that's what it was. Okay, so we're gonna start with Cherry Cobbler. Ooh, very late, oh, three-year-old grandson, yes. They are, any three-year-old is very, very busy. <laughs> Better you than me, Lori. Okay, so we're gonna stamp one there and one there, right? Okay. Then we are gonna come and fill it in with Poppy Parade ink. Okay, so we're gonna fill our berries in. You guys see I'm doing the nice easy tap, tap, tap. Bonnie, hello. Color that one in. Isn't this fun? So it's like I watercolored in like a hot second there. Okay. And then we are going to add the stems. Let's do those. Okay, so we're gonna do the outline. So we're doing this one in shaded spruce. Can you guys see what I'm doing here, right? Oops, let me make sure. One there, one there. And then we'll do the leaves. I might have put those, we'll get a little bit of leaf. Let's see here, if we do that one there, and that one there, oh yeah. There we go, right? So that was shaded spruce for the stem and the leaf. And then we're gonna fill it in with granny apple green. Ooh, snowy North Carolina. Ooh, Pam. That sounds kind of exciting. Hopefully you think it is too, right? Okay. So we're filling those in with our granny apple green and then filling our leaves in right there and right there, okay? Very pretty, huh? Ooh, thanks for sharing, Miss Deb. I appreciate that. Okay, so now we are going to attempt to stamp on a straight line with our shaded spruce ink. Poppy Parade is one of your favorite colors, huh, Anna? You know, it's funny because I remember when it first, it was like an in color oh, quite a few years ago. And I did not love it back then, but I have definitely come to love it now. There we go. Wishing you the very best. Okay, I did it. All right, so I think that's all of our stamping. I need to run and grab my dimensionals because I'm seeing that this has popped up on dimensionals. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'll be right back so we can put our card together. Okay, good. So I don't think I did forget anything else. I was kind of thinking that I would, so that's why I didn't run away before. Okay, here we go. Let's put our card together. Okay, so you guys will move that back into view so you can kind of see what's going on there. Oops, all right, we got lots of stamps. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just scoot these up and out of the way and I'll clean those later. There, then I don't get myself too confused. There. 
Okay, so that card can go there, and we got all our parts and pieces. So in order of how I would put things together. Ooh, look it, isn't that so pretty? Let's see, Sam says, in my area we have about two inches. Ooh, but going towards Charlotte, they don't have anything. Oh, you're at the base of the mountains. Oh, how cool, Pam. I bet that is just a beautiful area to live in. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's okay, right? You get a little snow, and then you can get away from it if you head to Charlotte, right? Okay, so look at these. Oh, aren't these gorgeous? <laughs> yes. Ooh, it, Susan, that happens all the time, right? Where she says, I didn't really think too much of it in the beginning, but I just love, look at those, all those berries. They're so pretty, aren't they? I think it's just beautiful. It happens like that, though, where you're like, yeah, it's okay. And then you see people playing with it and start to fall in love. Okay, so that piece is going to go right there. Next, we're going to add our Whisper White piece to the inside right here, okay? And you just have to kind of eyeball it and get it centered in here. So just don't press down till you, okay, looks good. There we go. Next, oh, you know what? I think I did stamp on the inside of this too. I better do a double check on that, of our white piece, sorry. I'm jumping ahead. This guy, this one you have to be a little bit more careful because it wants to adhere down. That looks good, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that. But I did, oh no, I didn't. I was thinking I did a little strawberry stamping inside there. Oh, it must have been something else. Maybe it's on the other one. Okay, well good, so I don't have to do any more stamping on that one. Okay, so now we can add our white piece right inside here. So this is where you can, you could put a sentiment in here. You could stamp some strawberries in here, right? Then we're gonna add our designer series paper. Uh, let's see. Oop, sorry, I'm getting, um, <laughs> I'm seeing some um, messages pop up here. I'm gonna have to read them later because I'm so busy concentrating so that I don't mess this card up. Sorry, ladies, I missed, I missed something. <laughs> okay, so there we go. All right, next we're gonna add some dimensionals behind our little stamped image there, okay. So can you guys see, like I cannot stop um, using the fun fold cards. I'm having so much fun with them lately. Fun folds are fun, right? Okay, I'm gonna put that little guy maybe right about there. I am gonna trim this baby off because I wanna be able to see it kind of Yep, right about there, looks good, right? Okay, oh, I just see Tracy, sorry. I know, I feel like there's been a lot popping up through there. I know I've missed some things, but hello, Miss Tracy. Okay, so we're gonna just put that, wishing you the very best. And then I always have to add a little bit of texture and dimension to my projects. So we are gonna use, and I love the little tool, the white polka dot tool ribbon, I'm so glad. I don't even know how many years this has carried over, at least one, if not maybe two, but I'm very happy that this ribbon is still around because it's a good, um, the white is always, um, you know, easy to work with. It coordinates with so many things. You're in cool Maine, Miss Tracy. Yes, I hear you. We're fairly cool, although, you know, it's not, it's like 30, 30 some degrees, which I know a lot of people think sounds like super cold. And it is, but, you know, when it can get down below zero, um, <laughs> 30 doesn't seem so bad. Okay, so there, we made the cute little bow, and we are going to pop this on with a mini glue dot. And there we go. Wishing you the very best. The very best. <laughs> Oh, so cute, right? Isn't that fun? Okay, so there is card number one. And let's see, let's scoot on to our second project. Okay, after I get myself momentarily organized here. All right, ooh, this one's got lots of, it's really heavy. There must be a lot of stuff I'm supposed to be using on it. So, <laughs> thanks, Pam. I'm glad you like that card. So, again, this time we're going to use the Sweet Strawberry stamp set along with the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. And here is our next card. Ooh, the sun is shining. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes. Oh, there they are. I knew I stamped. So, 
That's, and this is what I was talking about, that outline image, how they stamped it in black on that designer series paper. And then it actually, that'd be really fun to put on this card even too, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe we'll have to do that. I'll have to think about that. Maybe, well, I didn't bring my black ink, but you guys get the idea, right? So this little stamp, I'll show you when we use it, um, makes the little seeds on there too, or you can use the paper that already has the seeds on it. So, okay, so next card right here. Again, this time we're using the thank you from the sweet strawberry. And they have great sentiments in here too, right? That was so sweet of you. Hello there, just for you. Thank you. And happy birthday, you sweet thing. And then again, they've got the outline images and then you fill them in kind of watercolory, right? With all of those. And every, everything except that one right there. But you could color that in yourselves, right? So another cute, cute card. All right, so let's get started on this one. Bring my, oops, my stamps out. And so you can see too, right, how they really work well together. So this is again free with a $100 order along with the designer series paper because this is a celebration stamp set. And then this bundle right here is what you can order, the sweet strawberry stamp set and the strawberry punch. You can order these out of the mini catalog, okay? I hope I'm making that make sense. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> Sometimes I think I just talk too much and it actually makes it worse, but <laughs> apparently that's impossible for me not to do. I try, ladies, I try so hard. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What do I wanna tell you guys about? Let's scoot this out of the way. Let's talk about dimensions first, okay? So did I show you how this card opens, right? Thank you, Sherilyn, I'm glad you like this card. We'll go this way. So this one is Granny Apple Green cardstock, okay? This is a full sheet, except for that part, right? Just ignore that for a sec. So here's our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. We cut it in half at four and a quarter like I do many, many times, right? But then I scored it at two and three quarters and at eight and one quarter, okay? So this is gonna fold in that way and that's gonna fold in there, okay? Oh, good. Philomena, I'm glad you think it's very clear. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel better. I appreciate that. Okay, then we have our strawberry designer series paper, and we have two of these pieces. One's gonna go there, and one's gonna go there, right? And these each measure two and a half by four inches, okay? So those come on the outside. Then what do I wanna talk about next? Let's show you. So here's the inside whisper white piece. That one right there. This is the standard, do this all the time, four inches by five and a quarter, perfect. Um, little layer right there, okay? Then on the outside, these pieces right here, right? We have Granny Apple Green and the Designer Series paper on top. So Granny Apple Green cardstock at four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then our Designer Series paper at four by three. And again, all of these dimensions are gonna be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? Then we have this little strip right here for our thank you that measures three quarters by three and one quarter. And then I just have a strip of Whisper White, or now Basic White, we're calling it, um, cardstock for our stamping, okay, for our strawberries. So let's do our stamping first, okay, and then we can put things together. Lots and lots of pieces here. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's do this one first. We'll do... Where's my ink? <laughs> I just covered up the ink. That's not very helpful, Amy. Okay, so we've got our Granny Apple Green ink and our Poppy Parade. Those are the only two colors that we're using on this one. Okay, so on the I'm gonna stamp these little strawberries on the inside, okay? So this is the one, we'll do this one first that has the little seeds on it, okay? And then that one right there, okay? And we're gonna come back and fill it in with our watercolor stamp. Fabulous, right? That one there, okay. And then we're gonna use our Granny Apple Green for the stems right there and there. And I should have stamped on my other, but that's okay. We'll come back and do that. And then we're gonna fill in right there. And I love, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. That's kind of the cool part about the watercolor look, right? doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp our thank you. Hopefully that's in the middle. That looks pretty good, okay. Scoot that aside. Now we actually need to do our stamping for our punch. So let's think about this. We're gonna put this paper in here. So I'm gonna stamp 
those upside down and then I'm going to do the stem right there. Okay, so I'm going to leave this. I think if you kind of have this facing like upside down like this, that helps you figure out how to stamp things. Okay, so we're going to do that one and then we'll do, I'm going to space them out just a little bit because um, I wonder when I feed things in, hopefully I spaced them enough. I guess we'll see. If not, I've got more room. We can always stamp it again. Okay, and then I want to stamp these stems like this. We'll do one there and one there. And then the inside right there and right there. Okay. Ooh, that's like almost not even in view. Sorry, guys. Okay, hello. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to close things up because that'll help me ensure that I did stamp these far enough apart. Okay, so now we're going to punch. I think we're going to be all right. Okay, you get lots of little bits. With these builder punches, it's just what happens, right? And we've got this one, oops, right there. Okay, now, <laughs> sorry, I'm like so intent on what I'm doing. I'm not sure if that was actually in view or not. And then we've got one more. Let's see, yeah. Your paper kind of looks like cheese. Boop. Okay, so that's what, that's what you're left with after you punch a little bit. Okay, that's all right. All right, I think we're good. See, if I had closed these up, then the stamping wouldn't have been good, and I would have had to do something again. So that's how that works, ladies. Okay, let's find the pieces that we need. We need that stem and that stem and then those strawberries, and we don't need any of that stuff. Okay, I think we are ready to put our card together. There are pieces everywhere, basically. <laughs> yes, they do. They're really cute, aren't they? The way that they stamp, too. I agree, Susan. Okay, so we're going to just add this piece to the inside of our card. Right, and then what are we going to do next? Let's do these. I have pieces everywhere. Let's do our designer series paper. And I think I did cut. The, there we go. I was like, I thought they did go together. So there. So we're going to do that one and that one. And I don't think it would really matter because I don't know that you're looking. Somebody who's a quilter would notice that kind of thing, right? If your patterns were not kind of coordinating from top to bottom. My mom was a quilter, so I, I can remember her commenting about that. So, so you can see how those all kind of flow together nicely there, right? But once you put it all together, I don't think you really even notice that much too. <laughs> okay, so now we will put our designer series paper, more pretty berries. Okay, so we're gonna add this piece right on here. Okay, and let's tie our bow right now because it goes right about, um, where I would normally put adhesive. So this will kind of help me mark. Where do I put adhesive? Because you don't want to put it all over the back of this piece, only on the top part, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to open the card at all, and that would not work very well, would it? So we're just tying a bow. This is, um, what is this called? This is Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon. Crinkled, crinkled, ruched, what is it called? Yep, ruched ribbon. Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon works really, really well with the colors in here too, right? Okay, so we'll put that there. All right, now, so this piece is gonna go right on there, okay? So now I know where I can put my adhesive, because again, oops, I only want it on the top half of that piece. So that is gonna go right about there, okay? All right, next we are going to use our builder punch, the whatever this is called, banner, banner builder or something or other. And actually, because I haven't had great luck in cutting these things exactly three quarters of an inch wide, if you flip it over and you're trying to make sure it's got the same amount of um, free space showing, I guess, there we go, that'll work. And then Put that back in there again, and we'll do the same thing. 
on this one right there, okay? Now we're gonna put some dimensionals behind. Ooh, no, you know what? Let's add our adhesive to these little guys. We're gonna put these on the strawberries, and I love using my little silicone mat, a great little work surface, okay? So that I don't get adhesive on this piece, on my, uh, my grid paper, okay? So there's that one, and there's that one, okay? Now we can move these, move that little guy out of the way and add some dimensionals behind our sentiment and behind our strawberries, okay? So here we go, we'll pop these off first. And we're gonna add, we'll put one strawberry there and another one right there, and then we'll put our sentiment down at the bottom. And we have another cute, how about this fun thank you card, right? Thank you, <laughs> with the strawberries on the inside too. So can't stop with the fun folds, ladies. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, maybe I'll find some more for the next Facebook Live, right? But okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. I have absolutely loved playing with these, making these, just having so much fun with all of this new product, right? So again, you can get that Berry Blessings stamp set and the designer series paper that we used on these cards free with a $100 order right now, or actually, well, I don't, maybe at some point it'll sell out, hopefully not for a while, right? But for now you can get it free with a $100 order during celebration, okay? So for me and my deals with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, right? You can get these two cards for free with a $30 online order and your name is going to go in the drawing to win the Heal Your Heart stamp set. This will be giving away on our next Facebook Live, right? Then if you bump your order up to $50, you're going to get your free celebration item. And you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, 16 projects in here, or the Pastel Pearls. Beautiful. Look at those. I didn't get to show you guys those very well either, did I, right? So lots of great deals to be had right now. Here's your host code. Make sure you use this host code. That's how I know that you're ordering through me and you can get all these fun freebies from me. The SY2XVNMS, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I missed everybody. That was like a long, long time to be away from Facebook Live. So I was super excited to be back here showing you some fun new products and projects. So have a great weekend. We'll see you guys on the next Facebook Live. Bye, everybody. Thank you.